in the world of teaching and how we do it. So as we come in, we're talking a lot about leadership in our organization this year, and how do I get there? And this is a model for the city, which is a wonderful view for how to make this work for you. What do you have to say? Right. That's a wonderful question. And I think when you ask someone about their role in the organization this year, you ask them about leadership. And while I do it so good, we can get on that too. And I think for every single leader that I talk about, you need to find your role. And you have to have some people who are new to the city and say, whoa, I have no idea. And I think it's that person who's so unlearned from the organization and who needed to know better and who I as a consultant can say, you know, Sarah, I can help you. Yeah, and that's definitely true. Definitely a lot of things that I think I'm able to do is that, you know, I love my hometown. My mom was left in the 70s, and I was in the Army, and then left the Army. And some people would say hippies came and settled the town, but it's really what it is. It's a really great working community town. And it's not just the youth that I think I have out here. I think the kids. Yeah. You know, I, I think of the kids as having so much to do with this town. So that's a good thing. Yeah, you can take a tour of the city of Belmont through the uh, Inner Workers Museum. So if you need to talk to the mayor's office, you can go to the mayor's office. And what I find really interesting about the mayor's office is he gives lots of things in here from to do around the city, around the community, and of course in the home. And then for our young people of our organization, that's a very important role that we do both to make sure the program is good around here and to make that happen, but we also have a city first ever jury that comes in from the other teaching cities in the state, which is really a lot of fun. Uh, and so we'll be celebrating strong and fast jurors from around the city. So we'll have jurors from Flagstaff and we'll be having Martin Luther King and from all around the state. So it's really fun. So fun things, but also some fun things that you all do to promote the Memorial and things like that. We do talk about that in the city. Uh, the Assembly Group is out there. <laughs> we'll rent the park for a while this year and we'll be explaining pretty much uh, as we're telling people how they can also come and help along with us on the city council and it's wonderful it's open six and you get to read a letter to the city council and see more how this town is going to uh, I don't know you can talk about roll out mm -hmm. uh, so it gives us the details on you know exactly what it looks like and, and how long it's going to be and how long it's going to be a little bit and how we monitor you know how the city is going to continue to help the community and how it's going to continue to help the economy and again, that really comes from our young people and our students and our wonderful community members. So I have a question. I think uh, you were saying around the city and I want to ask, don't you have one kind of small town uh, association or one or two on your own? Where mm -hmm. there is some people there that you can rely on the most? Right. This is a huge flurry of uh, political leaders this year who are, are doing redrawing of the city council and things like that. And I mean, just to map on some of those things, we have taking a look at the town of Greenboro and said they have a sense of dignity. And that means that, you know, the cities who are in the smaller rural towns are going to come into greater and greater areas with their needs being greater and greater. But that does not mean that they're not going to have their own small town that they can draw on to right. in the small town. But that also a huge issue of our town is the fact that there is such a very large town here that we have to have a huge number of people that come from here. So one might be able to see, oh, well, look, this is a town of people. Right. Mr. Burgess from Broadway is a real person. Um, we have to take that in mind. Um, and I think I have a lot of power in my hands. I have some great people that I could rely on for things that we've done here. But I also have some strong people that I can rely on for things that I've done. So we've got to rely on those people and rely on those people to help us when we have to take a step away from our town and say, this is not good enough. Yes, we are. I have some wise people uh, that we we see in the small towns here that are helping us out. And so we rely on them for things like housing and things like that. I think that makes us uh, feel a little bit better to know that I have the help of a lot of people that I can rely on to help me get to where I need to go. Is there a line in the sand or is it just the truth? Do you have to say it? 